Your weather is not beautiful, though. No, it's not. <laughs> no. When's the last time it's been beautiful? For me? Rain. He's I like, know. when did I get on a plane and go to San Diego? Uh, yeah, for me, February. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It depends on who you ask, Just for sure. Remember this time when we're freezing this winter. Right. right? I will. Yeah. Trust me. I'm telling you. We're gonna we're talking about heat, humidity returning. Today it's still all about the rain that we've had. In some cases, three to four inches across the Jersey Shore. We still have a flood watch in effect for much of the area till two o'clock this afternoon. Most of the heavy rain, if not all of it, is subsided. In fact, we haven't really seen much in the way of heavy rain today. That's kind of moving up toward the Connecticut area where they still have flooding to deal with. Once we get into this afternoon, sunshine returns. We're back into the heat and humidity, but it's tomorrow that we have the heat advisory because many of us will be in the upper 80s, low 90s. We can handle that, but the humidity will make it feel closer to 100 degrees. Then once we get into your Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be talking about temperatures feeling between 105 and 110. That's going to be the bigger deal for us. The excessive heat watch likely to become a warning because these are very hot temperatures, obviously. And while this is not the longest heat wave that we've had so far this summer, this might be the most intense with temperatures that again could rival the hottest heat index values or feels like temperatures that we've seen all season long. Yesterday, decent amounts of rain inland, but just around the Jersey Shore and even just a couple blocks up really either side of the Garden State Parkway three to four inches of rain right now across the area. Still kind of murky out there around the shore. 74 degrees Mount Pocono, 74 Atlantic City and 78 in Center City across the region today. We'll make it to 88 degrees in Philly. Get rid of the showers. Most of them gone and then we break out in sunshine at the shore. An isolated pop up storm not out of the question. Nearly 80 degrees and around 90 in the Lehigh Valley for your Sunday. That's when things really start to heat up. We're at 94 in the city, 85 at the shore, 92 in the Lehigh Valley, but add on about 10 degrees to these numbers to what it will actually feel like outside. All right, so we head into the mid morning with most of the rain out of the way. Again, a pop up isolated shower, rumble of thunder, not out of the question for today. Temperatures will be staying in the upper 70s and low 80s across the shore, but where we clear out a little bit quicker because it's already happening just west of the city, we'll be looking at mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, giving way to temperatures nearly 90 degrees tonight. Muggy, just not really fun at all to be outside. It's going to be kind of steamy out there and with a light wind likely to feel more like the mid to upper 70s across much of the area and some fog might also develop as we head into your Sunday morning. Now tomorrow, while we can't rule out a sprinkle or a shower and truthfully, I think the models overdoing it just a little bit. We really start to heat up with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies feeling like the low 100s. Take a look at what it'll be like for Sunday afternoon. Actual temperatures we showed you. This is what it could feel like upper 90s, low 100s. And then once we get into your Monday and Tuesday with the excessive heat watch, that's when many of us will feel between 105 and 110. So that continues for the beginning of the week. Today, 88 degrees in the city, morning showers, giving way to afternoon sunshine. Then as we head into tonight, we'll be back down into the 70s with some fog. Your seven day forecast. We do have the Next weather alerts for Monday and Tuesday. That's because temperatures will not only be in the upper 90s, but it'll feel more like 105 to 110. Showers and storms return Wednesday into Thursday, cooling us down and drying us up by the end of the week. Guys? All right, Andrew, thank you.